Hey Charlie, and today is July 1st, 2012. And the reason why I'm doing this video today is because I ended up having some bok choy that went to seed, or actually it just started flowering. Um, what was happening is that I transplanted it way too late, and you guys have seen it in my videos where I was like, hey, get away from the bok choy when the chickens were going crazy. And I was eating these leaves, I was just plucking them and just eating them right in the garden, which is um, absolutely delicious. And there's really not uh, many bugs in my yard because I use a pepper spray that I make myself. And I spray my plants and it keeps all the bugs away. But um, since this went to seed, I'm just going to chop it up and I'm going to give it to all my birds. And I got rid of as much soil I could off the plants. I'm going to chop that up as well and um, give that to the birds as well so they can eat the roots, the stem, and the flowers. And the chickens have been eating this. So I only have a few ceramas. So um, I'm going to chop this up and I'll show you what it looks like as soon as I chop it all up. But this is my bok choy that went to flower. Very pretty little flowers, but I want bok choy, I don't want flowers. All right, oh, this is the fish tank I got for free. Someone just dropped it off. The lid, the light, the aquarium. Well, not this tank, actually. Just this part here. I ended up getting this tank for free. Where do you get the babies? They're hungry. And um, you guys just saw in the video that I did with the Samramas here. These guys need to be fed. But, um, yeah, so I ended up getting two fish tanks. I was really happy about that. So thank, thank you, Mary, for coming to the house and dropping that off for me. All right, so let me show you what this looks like once it's all chopped up. I'm going to give it to all my birds. It's about uh, 36 inches long. Okay, so this is the final mess. This is the bottom part. And this is the middle. And this is the tops. The tops are tender, so it's easy to chop. And if you guys have ever chopped bok choy that's kind of been growing like mine, you'll see that this part is really hard to cut. So my knife, I love my knife, but it did not like doing all that. So what I'm gonna be doing is the smaller pieces I'm going to give all this to the finches, um, the parakeets, and the parrotlets, and the rosy borks, and the button quails. But the medium pieces I'm going to give to the sun, or not sun carnies, I don't have them anymore. Uh, the green cheek conures, the eastern rosellas, the princes of Wales, the Indian ringnecks, I don't know if I said that, the buried cockatoo. And also these parts here, I'm going to put one each into each cage, which I don't think I have enough for each cage. I'm not sure. But what the parrots can do is they can grab onto this themselves. They can hold on to it and just chew the entire thing. Same thing here. But the little birds, they could grab onto this. And the finches will tear up the leaves and eat the leaves. So if you have a food processor and you want to chop this up even finer, that's a, probably a better idea. But the other thing is, is... A lot of the finches like to use this as nesting material and they'll do it once it starts to dry. Sometimes they'll use this when it's wet and fresh like this, but um, I took out a lot of my nest boxes so they're not going to be able to do that. Some of them will, but yep, this is what I ended up doing. I couldn't do so much with it, so I'm going to go ahead and give this to the guys and see if they all like it. And also the Saramas, well, actually my Saramas don't really need any of this because they just go in the yard and eat everything. So they um, practically eat their own chicken food. So they eat mostly what's in the yard. All my bugs, my slugs, any type of um, weeds. I have not one dandelion in the yard, not even the leaves. But I do have some other stuff that I can't remember what it's called. I also chop that up and I give it to the plants. And I also chop up dandelions too. So if you guys want to see more videos like this where I take um, weeds from the yard or certain vegetables that some people don't want to eat or just grow for their um, pets, let me know and I will make a list of videos like this and I will start working on them the best I can and that way you guys can see. And you can add things to this like calcium powder like your oyster shell. You can take your calcium oyster shell powder and just kind of dump it on here and do this and coat each one of these which is what I'm going to do. 
and you can do the same thing with the oyster shell. You can grind it up and you can turn it into a powder and then take some of it, grind it up and put it into little, uh, make them into little teeny pieces of oyster shell. Mix it up so you'll have some pieces of oyster shell and powdered oyster shell. But chicken eggs grounded up um, and mixed into this is great. Now these I won't do that with because it's too big and it doesn't stick that well. But this is actually kind of wet because it's been chopped up more, so it'll stick better to that. Also vitamins. If you have powdered vitamins, add it, which I do. You guys know that I use Vionate, and I'm going to be adding that too. All right, so if you guys have any questions, uh, leave a comment below. If you'd like to rate the video, I'd appreciate it. And if you want to subscribe, uh, like I always say, got more videos coming soon. All right, see you guys in the next video. Hey, I forgot to mention something. I am going to be adding some of these, um, I think they call this black oil sunflower seed. And I sprouted it, and I've had it in the refrigerator for about a week now, and it still looks like this. It stops growing. Got rid of as much moisture as I can so it doesn't turn slimy. But I'm going to mix this in along with this. And you can see I already put the vionate powder on there. I'll be adding calcium and oyster shell next. So I just wanted to let you guys know that if you do sprout any other sunflower seeds, this is a good way to give your bird sunflower seeds is by sprouting it, not giving it to them, um, you know, just like in seed form. So this is much healthier to any of your birds.